They say money doesn't grow on trees, but for some athletes, money does seem to show up out of nowhere. One win, one goal, one match can turn an unknown name into an overnight millionaire or even billionaire. But some athletes have mastered a different art, shrewd negotiation. They take their time, play their cards right, and train in business as much or more as they train in their chosen sport. Through intelligent investing and a certain amount of strategy, these athletes not only climb the ladder of wealth, but learn how to best hold on to what they have. Daniel Cormier is an absolute legend of the UFC. The former light heavyweight and heavyweight champion, with a record of 22-3 and, and won no contest, Cormier is only the second fighter to hold titles in two divisions at the same time in the history of the organization. Since his debut against Frank Mir in 2013, to his retirement from the UFC in 2020, Cormier has been a shrewd negotiator, and through his career he has managed to gain significant wealth in his rise to the top. What does a champion like Cormier spend his money on? What links does his current fortune have to his past? And how will it affect his future? Like, share, and subscribe to Ultimate Fighting Network as we discover how Daniel Cormier spends his millions. Daniel Cormier has openly stated that he got into MMA for the money initially. As a young fighter, he had never seen a five-figure payout before, let alone received that much for one night of fighting. And uh, so I started fighting and I was like, I fought and I made 10 grand my first fight. I was so rich. I was so rich. I was like, man, I could not wait to go and deposit my check. I didn't deposit, I cashed it to get all the cash so I could put it to my bank right away. I was like, I need this money to show right now. And uh, I burned through it. I burned completely through my check, man, in no time. After a professional start in Strike Force, moving his way up the rankings from that first $10,000 purse to payouts of $60,000 with a $60,000 win bonus, Cormier signed with the UFC and knew he wanted to make more money. While he originally wanted to nearly double his winnings, he managed to negotiate a deal of $63,000 and a $63,000 to win, a pretty high first purse. Cormier walked away from that first fight against Frank Mir with a victory and a cool $126,000 to start his UFC career. From there, Cormier's victories and his winnings began to add up. Even his first professional loss against John Jones bagged him $140,000, which included $90,000 to show and a fight of the night bonus. To date, Cormier's biggest purse came at the end of his rematch with Jones. Cormier received $1 million just for showing up to that fight with a $40,000 bonus from Reebok. Cormier has had five fight of the night bonuses in his UFC career at $50,000 each. He has also benefited from the UFC's Reebok sponsorship, which pays a champion rate of $40,000 per fight. As with most champions of his caliber, he also receives incentive pay for each fight week at around $40,000 and pay-per-view payouts. It should be noted that Cormier has also made another career path for himself as a UFC commentator, especially for pay-per-view bouts. His earnings from this are undisclosed, but analysis and commentating appear to be enjoyable to him, and it's likely he will continue to earn money this way into his retirement. Overall, Daniel Cormier's estimated career earnings at the time of his retirement sit at just about $6.5 million. So how does Daniel Cormier spend his millions? Cormier is a devoted family man, and he and his family live in a lovely home in Gilroy, California. He wasn't always able to provide such luxury to his family. During his strike force years, Cormier says that he and his wife were on welfare and that his family in Louisiana was also broke. Those were tough years, but they only strengthened his resolve. Now he and his family are quite comfortable thanks to his years in the UFC. When it comes to expensive toys, Cormier definitely doesn't appear to be a luxury car guy. Sources online vary, but over the years, Cormier has joked often that his car choices are not exactly high-end. He reports that he drives a Prius around town to save money on gas, and he used to drive with one of his belts in the front seat of the car. One area where Cormier doesn't skimp 
is on Shoes. Cormier is a self-avowed sneakerhead. Growing up, shoes were the symbols of status in his neighborhood, especially Jordans. Now, as an adult, Cormier has an enviable collection, with multiples of various favorite styles. On the web show Sneaker Shopping with Complex, Cormier even claimed that Conor McGregor might have more expensive clothes and fancy shoes, but no one in the UFC beats Cormier's collection of sneakers. Aside from material possessions, Cormier owns and operates a gym where he coaches wrestling to young kids. As a child who was bullied and reportedly afraid of everything and everyone, Cormier understands the need for kids to be empowered and have confidence in themselves, and he regularly puts his energy and passion behind instilling a sense of worth in his students through combat sport. He says it's one of the most fulfilling things to watch a kid come out of their shell. Daniel Cormier never had a single cent handed to him. From a child to an adult, he has experienced hardship, tragedy, financial insecurity, and setbacks. But one thing he never did was back down from self-advocacy. Cormier learned early how to fight, not only in the cage, but also in the business world. He pushed for what he needed, and he got it. Over time, he gathered skills in negotiation, and they served him well. He made enough money to give himself and his family security for a lifetime. In his role as an analyst for the UFC, Cormier has often entered into conversations about fighter pay, especially high-profile contentious negotiations. Time and time again, his advice is often the same. Just be direct, do things behind closed doors, and ask for what you want. Hey, look, don't listen to me, right? Don't listen to me. Like, I'm the guy, I'm only the guy that's gotten every single opportunity that I've ever really like tried to get or asked for. I've gotten paid fairly. I'm just that guy. Right. So like, don't listen to what I've done when my experiences obviously can't help when in reality, they've all are for the most part been very good. Whether his advice works for every fighter or not, it has certainly worked for Cormier. And if he's right, it works for anyone who knows what they're worth and fights for it. What do you think about Daniel Cormier? Comment down below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching the Ultimate Fighting Network.